What's up, guys? Welcome to SHOT Show 2022. It's Carlos from Daily Care Solutions. I'm here with Eric from the Outer Limitless YouTube channel at the Fisher Space Pen booth. And we have Joshua over here who was kind enough to take a few moments to go ahead and talk about something that I think is really important. And I don't think the EDC community knows just how important Fisher Space Pen is and how much they are actually delving in and have been in the EDC community for quite some time. So just to kind of give you a little bit of background, Joshua, on why I want, really wanted to go ahead and get some video with you guys, Fisher Space Pen has been, I mean, I've always had a Fisher Space Pen, sure. like ever since I was a young boy. So my dad had a uh, right Fisher Space stuff. Pen, back, um, you know, in my, you know, off time when I'm not doing YouTube videos and stuff, I sign a lot of documents, I proofread a lot of stuff, and I always have a Fisher Space Pen on me. This is actually my EDC. So I have this and I have refills in a lot of my tents because, I mean, you guys are so notorious for being able to write anywhere, underwater, in bad yep. conditions, no matter what, and have a nice consistent ink flow throughout that, I mean, I've, not to bring up another competitor, but I've even modified some of my other pens, like zebra pens and stuff like that, sure. to be able to accept, you know, space pen refills. Sure. So, um, let me go ahead and see what you guys got over here uh, with regards to the EDC uh, side of things, because I know you do a lot of law enforcement and yes. stuff. Yeah. But uh, I think that we we really need to concentrate on this, and what well, I might walk away with some new ideas for a new pen. Carlos, I'll tell you something. You hit the nail on the head when you said EDC. That we're really sensitive to EDC nowadays, and actually we have a new website that's going to be launching here in the next month or so. And one of the sections on our website actually says Everyday Carry, and so we've gotten so popular over the last couple of years with folks on EDC that we're like, we need to focus on this more. So one of the most popular pens that we actually have nowadays is our backpacker. What's beautiful about this pen is that it's got a really nice solid cap on it. You can take this pen that indefinitely hangs upside down, pull the cap off, turn it over, and it automatically deploys and writes flawlessly every time. And so for somebody like me who's constantly on the go, I keep one of these on my keychain. I keep this attached to my fly fishing gear so that when I'm down on the river and I'm fly fishing, I can chart down the, the, the temperature of the water or hatches that I might see. So for folks that love EDC, a backpacker is definitely a perfect fit to add to your collection. Of course, our bullet pens have been well known for a long time. Definitely. They fit in almost any wallet you can find in EDC today. You can slide a bullet pen in there. It's a perfect pen, but we have a a couple of new colors that came out with our, our, our uh, backpackers this year. We've got a forest green, we've got a bright purple here, and another one is a gunmetal gray too as well. And you can go to our website and find that out easy. But you know, you talked about what are the value propositions that separate us more than anything. At the end of the day, especially for EDC, it comes down to the size, that one there to stow away. Think about how, how nice and small that is. So guys that carry around those nice tiny wallets that need to find a way to keep a pen with them, that can slide right into your wallet really simple. And it has all the same value propositions that every space pen does. It'll ride upside down, underwater, over oil and grease. Ride underwater with that one right there. Show I was just checking works. that out. I was like, okay, let's see what I can do here. Now some folks will watch this and go, when am I ever going to be riding underwater? What you don't know is that there are people that inspect naval ships that do underwater diving and they take records and jot down notes underwater. It's very applicable for many people out there. But I will tell you this, play, hop in the pool, play a game with your friends, take notes, pass notes underwater. It's actually a lot of fun and once you actually use a space pen, you, you, you probably won't go back to another pen. Once you're able to write upside down, do Sudoku in bed forever, do a crossword in bed forever, whatever it might be, um, it's just the value propositions are useful every single day. And that's one thing that I love about this, you know, uh, being able to go ahead and use it in, you know, different environments every single day. Uh, I think that the value that Fisher brings to the table is consistency. And I think that that's why, even if you don't have a pen, I think that the refills and the fact that, you know, even other companies that have high quality, you know, turned pens, um, we've done, you know, work with other companies before sure. that flat out say, yeah, we accept Fisher, spe uh, you know, space pen refills because of the fact that you guys are so consistent in the writing. I mean, I was looking at this machine that you guys over here have over here, and you guys are literally going through, and I mean, it's it's literally it's riding upside down, riding upside down constantly. You constantly, won't find constantly. this machine for sale for anywhere. Our actual factory, we bake those ourselves, and so it's completely tooled and engineered by our company just to be able to show the benefits of riding upside down. So, uh, but I, you know, it it really does tell the story of why other pen companies like to have our technology inside their pen, and we would be foolish as a brand to think that we make the only pens that are attractive in this world. We don't. 
right? There's other companies, like you said, that turn their own pen, CNC machine, and they're beautiful pens, but they want the value proposition to having a space pen, and they're able to do that and make the, make the specs of that pen fit our technology, which is an added benefit for other pen companies out there too as well. Definitely. And I think an unintended benefit that I really do want to stress as well is price and availability. Sure. Uh, your catalog is vast, but it also covers a lot of different companies. I mean, whether you know you work for law enforcement, whether you work in an office, whether you're just an average Joe or an average Carlos in my case, you know, I mean, there's a pen for everybody. Sure. You know, I saw this over here. I mean, this is a really unique It's the pen. best Father's Day gift of all time, right? Yeah. You know, like my dad loves to reload his own ammunition. Uh, obviously, when I came to work at Space Pen, that was the first thing I got him. It's a 338 Lapua that actually turns into a Space Pen. And so how cool is this to be sitting on your desk while you're at work and somebody goes, wow, you got a bullet on your office desk. No, it's actually a pen. Just turn that upside down and voila, now you've got a space pen. So. And it's a heck of a conversation starter. Oh, it's a great conversation yep. starter, you know? That's one of the things that's really undervalued about our brand, and this is something I'm spending a lot of time trying to, to tell people, is that we have such an authentic, great story. Who doesn't like to give a gift that comes with a great story? I know for 20 or 30 bucks, you can't find a better pen out there that it comes with an unparalleled story like ours. And that's really a fact. Definitely, and I think that it's it's it says a lot about the company when if it's good enough for something like an astronaut or law enforcement, you know, the people that are setting the, tr the trend, setting the standard, or even keeping us safe at night, or even signing the documents for somebody's first home. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is with you every step of the way, and I think that that's awesome. I've had a great time using my Fisher Space Pen, and judging by the looks of it, I got some spending to do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> so thank you for taking a moment, Josh. And, oh, my uh, pleasure, man. Thanks for coming to the booth. We appreciate it. Have a great rest good of the show. Good to see you. You too.